Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Vishnu and Sudev run a 100 meter race. Vishnu beats Sudev by 10 meters. For the next race, Vishnu starts 10 meters behind the starting line. They both run at their earlier speeds. Who will be the winner and by how many meters? So what is the question? Vishnu and Sudev are running a 100 meter race and Vishnu is beating Sudev by 10 meters. So what is the meaning? When Vishnu completes 100 meters, the Sudev will be running only 90 meters. So Vishnu is winning by 10 meters or Vishnu is beating Sudev by 10 meters. So Vishnu is to Sudev means when Vishnu completes 100 meter, Sudev has completed only 90 meter. So Vishnu is winning by 10 meter. The so first race, this is the case. Vishnu is to Sudev will be 100 is to 90. When Vishnu completes the 100 meter race, Sudev is still 10 meters behind. So Sudev has completed only 90 meters. So the ratio can be written as 100 is to 90. Now second race, what is happening? The Vishnu is starting 10 meters behind the starting line. So what is the meaning of that? In second, second race, when Vishnu has to run 110 meters, Sudev has to run only 100 meters. So Vishnu is starting 10 meters behind the starting line. So as he is starting 10 meters behind the starting line, he has to run 10 meters extra. So his total race length will be 110 meter and Sudev has to complete only 100 meters to win the race. So who will be winning the race and by how many meters? So what is the ratio for the first race? The ratio is Vishnu is to Sudev is given as 100 is to 90. And for the second race, Vishnu is to Sudev is given as 110 is to 100. Now actually when Vishnu has to complete 110 meter, the Sudev has to complete only 100 meters. So we have to find out who will be winning the second race and by how many meters. So second race means whoever completes 100 meter first will be winning the game. Okay, so let's just write this as a ratio 100 by 110 is equal to 90 by 100. So just we are equating In the first race when Vishnu is running 100 meters, Sudev has completed only 90 meters and the second race when Vishnu has to run 110 meters, Sudev has to run only 100 meters. So just we are writing as a, as a ratio 100 by 110 is equal to 90 by 100, 1 divided by 2. So what we will be getting? If you are just cancelling out, we will be getting 100 is equal to 99. That means when Vishnu has completed 100 meters, Sudev has completed only 99 meters. So who will be winning the race? Yeah, Vishnu will be winning the race. No doubt in that. Vishnu has completed 100 meters and at the same time, Sudev has run only 99 meters. So Vishnu will be winning the race and Vishnu will be winning by 1 meter. Or Vishnu will be beating Sudev by 1 meter. So Vishnu will be the winner of the race. Now question number 2. In a 5000 meter race around a circular stadium with a circumference of 1000 meters, the fastest runner and the slowest runner reach the same point at the end of the fifth minute for the first time after the start of the race. All the runners have the same starting point and each runner maintains a uniform, uniform speed throughout the race. If the fastest runner runs at twice the speed of the slowest runner, how much time he takes to finish the race? So even though the question seems big, it is easy to solve. So what is the question? There is a 5000 meter race or the total length of the race is 5000 meter. It is conducted in a circular stadium and the circumference of the stadium is 1000 meters or we can say the length of the circular track is 1000 meters. The circumference is the total length of the circular track. So the total length of the circular track is equal to 1000 meter. Now there is a fastest runner and the slowest runner. The speed comparison is given. The speed of the fastest runner will be twice the speed of the slowest runner. Suppose if you are taking slowest runner speed is equal to x. Means what will be the speed of the fastest runner? So the fastest 
runner speed will be equal to 2x. The fastest runner is having a speed twice that of the slowest runner. So, x and 2x will be the speeds of the slowest runner and the fastest runner respectively. Now, what is given? They are reaching the same point at the end of the fifth minute. So, within 5 minutes or by the end of the fifth minute, both this slowest runner and the fastest runner reaches the same point. So, what is the meaning of that? When they are reaching the same point means how much distance they have covered or how much distance the fastest runner has covered more than the slowest runner. Only when the fastest runner is leading by the circumference of the circular track. He should have, they are meeting at the same point. So, same point means in a circular track, two runners will be meeting at the same point only when the one person has completed the entire round. One person has completed the entire round and he is meeting the slowest runner at the same point. So, the relative distance covered is equal to 1000 meter or how much distance the fastest runner is has travelled more or has run more when compared to the slowest runner is equal to the circumference of the circular track or the length of the circular track which is equal to 1000 meter. So, the relative distance is equal to 1000 meter and what is the time taken for covering this? 5 minutes. Time taken is equal to 5 minutes. It is already given at the end of the 5th minutes. At the end of the 5th minute, the fastest runner and the slowest runner will be meeting at the same point. So, that means the fastest runner has completed the circumference of the circular track more when compared to the slowest runner. Then only they will be able to meet at the same point. In a circular race, when the two people are meeting at the same point, the meaning is the one person has completed the entire round one time more than the other person or the distance covered will be equal to the circumference of the circular track or the length of the circular track. So, within this 5 minutes, the distance covered by the fastest runner will be equal to 1000 meter. So, that is the meaning here. Within 5 minutes, the fastest runner will be covering a distance of 1000 meter. Then only they will be meeting at the same point at the end of the 5th minute. So, what is 2x? But since here both the runners are running, both the fastest runner and the slowest runner are running, you have to take the relative speed only. We cannot say 1000 divided by 2x is equal to 5. That will be wrong. What you have to do is, since both the runners are running, you have to take the relative speed. So, you can write the formula 1000 divided by 2x minus x. Since they are running in the same direction, you have to take the difference. So, 1000 divided by 2x minus x is equal to 5 minutes. So, that is what you will be getting. So, that means 1000 divided by 5 will be giving you x. So, x is equal to 1000 divided by 5 which is 200 meters per minute. So, that will be the unit of the speed here. So, the x will be 200 meters per minute. What is x? x is the speed of the slowest runner. So, the slowest runner will be having a speed of 200 meters per minute. That means, the fastest runner speed will be equal to 400 meter per minute. So, in one minute he will be covering 400 meters. So, how much time he takes to finish the race? The total race length is equal to 5000 meter. So, the time taken will be equal to 5000 divided by the speed, speed is 400 meter per minute. As simple as that, distance divided by speed will give you the time taken. So, 5000 divided by 400 which gives you 12.5 minutes. So, the fastest runner will be completing the race in 12.5 minutes. So, understood how to do this question? The fastest runner and the slowest runner are meeting at the same point. So, the meaning is the relative distance covered is equal to 1000 meter or 1000 meter more will be covered by the fastest runner when compared to the slowest runner. So, the 1000 meter will be covered in 5 minutes. Since both the runners are moving, you have to take the relative speed. Relative speed will be given by 2x minus x which gives you x. So, 1000 divided by x is equal to 5. From that, you can find out x. 
and from x you will be able to find out the speed of the fastest runner from the speed you can find out the time taken to finish the race so this is a cat level question the, the, the two questions discussed in this video are cat level questions so this much lengthy questions will be asked for cat so you have to be prepared if you are if you are planning to appear for cat examination you can prepare these type of questions by using this video thank you for watching